Each year, thousands of foreign women marry American men through so-called international matchmaking. The international matchmaking industry, better known as mail-order bride business, is booming. Many of the men... Does reality really meet expectation? We had 210 women at that social, 20 guys, a 10 to 1 ratio. Welcome to paradise. <laughs> For me, it's been very nerve-wracking. A lot of beautiful women and not like that at home. <laughs> and they just can't believe that these women are interested in them because they're used to the situation at home where nobody's interested in them. These women believe in family first, not career first, family first. I'll tell you, it's like dating a girl from the 50s. It's like dating my mom. I've been running this lady, you know, we're, we're almost daily for, for months now. Emails are $10 a pop going and coming. So I'm probably out 10 grand. My biggest fear is that it was a scam, that she's writing to 50 or 60 guys and she's getting a cut of the fees for the emails going back and forth. I spent thousands of dollars, you know, just for the trip, the letter translations and photos thousands of dollars out of pocket for this. Do, do you ever just feel like you're just writing a photo? Yeah. Ukrainian woman is very sexual. She's wild. Yes. She needs sex. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You know, we have a proverb here. If you want to have a good wife, mm -hmm. uh, you must have a whore in the bedroom. A whore in the bedroom. A chief cook in the kitchen. Chief cook in the kitchen. And hostess in the living room. But, uh, our women can do it uh, not only in bed or not only in bedroom. You can do any other place. Any room in the house. Not only room, <laughs> maybe outside. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Maybe in be. nature. Maybe in nature. Maybe in forest, elevators. Car, elevators, car train, elevator, train, train, airplane, airport. <laughs> so uh, every every place normally. We normally, call it normally. the Mile High Club. If you do it in an airplane. Mm, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> The story that you told, honest to God, yeah. is just powerful. Yeah. I mean, I was almost in tears. I mean, yeah. what you told me was so heartbreaking. You are not able to feel nothing, really. This is not just farting around for me because 
I feel so sympathetic for so many guys. Just in a letter writing industry alone, I have spent well over $10,000. It's a fucking Pollyanna dream, a fantasy world. You're better off living in your virtual world and jacking off because this is a heartbreaking world. He so got so caught with this woman, he spent $10,000 on her. She was married. She was married. She was married and had a child. A few times she had sex, and her husband was fully aware of it and fully in agreement with it. The money was, and the gifts was too good to pass up. I said, Marty, you just need to buck up and be a man and just quit the fucking whining and quit your pissing around. I'm tired of hearing I'm up to here with it. She's fucking you over. So we have this predicament now. So there's a 30-year-old, 30 30-year 30 uh, age gap. Mm -hmm. As much as I, I love it now, there's this other side of me thinking, this is doomed. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. A lot of powerful women in the Ukraine. Oh, she wore, me, she wore me out. Oh my God. I don't even want to think about it. Is there a lot of lonely, single, beautiful women in the Ukraine? More than you can possibly imagine. These are real women with real feelings, real emotions, real desires, real wants. Yeah. They are worth the effort. Nobody wants to talk about. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to talk about the ugly truth. Uh, the, the Western man doesn't want to hear that he shouldn't come to the Ukraine and date his daughter. From him, it's about uh, to have a nice, beautiful body, not woman body. To show other people how beautiful the model near me. <laughs> it's 100% not love. 99% is not love. Not love. I think they are willing to marry not for love. Oh. Men's no, but they don't want to hear this. She likes me just for money. That's real life, you know. You're talking to an interpreter which might be a man. Yes. You are very lucky if you have uh, the girl chatting with you, but not a bold 30-something uh, man. They want to write letters. Yeah. And sit at home. Yeah. They're looking for love, connection. For me, it's important to be loved or um, love. We're looking for love. We'll find real love. Generally, who will uh, just uh, love you. So advice to the Western man, get your ass over to the Ukraine. Yes. Yeah? Until he won't try, he will uh -huh. never know for sure. Hey, it's Joe here. How are you doing? Listen, I wanted to talk to you openly and personally for a moment here. Maybe you're like I was divorced two times and just really um, distraught and given up on ever finding your other half, a soulmate, your best friend, somebody that's amazing, smart, sexy, talented, educated woman that will rock your world in more ways than you can imagine. I've found that and I wish you to find that. I fervently believe the best women, the best wives are in the Ukraine here. I wish you all the best in your personal journey to find and marry the most incredible, amazing Ukrainian wife you could possibly imagine.